Etsy versus Shopify. Which one should you pick? Fly light in the beautiful sea. I chose to be happy. You and I, you and I. We're like diamonds in the sky. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel, hopefully. Um, if you have not hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to my videos. I share uh, videos I share videos on a bunch of different stuff. Um, I like to review products. I drop business videos. Um, I'm a licensed esthetician. The list goes on and on, but enough about me. Let's get into this video. Okay, so I do have my notes here. I made a few notes so that you can make an informed decision. Shopify versus Etsy, which one do you think is best? Which one is best? Um, and I will stay till the end. I will tell you which store I like, which platform, uh, e-commerce platform I personally like the best and which one I think is better. Okay, Shopify versus Etsy. So it depends on what it is that you're trying to sell. Um, I have both and I actually have multiple on um, both, multiple stores on both um and i think they're both really dope platforms this is why i do videos on them i don't do videos on anything else because this is all i use and i try to speak from experience and if i had experience with another company that maybe wasn't that great i'm not going to make a video on it i'm just going to leave it alone i don't want to put out any negativity so i just won't you know record on it anything i record on is usually it's going to be positive it's going to be motivational and it's going to be something that i've experienced so i do have both on both stores I do have uh, stores on both platforms, so I'm just going to, I'm sorry if I'm looking down, I'm just like looking through my notes. Maybe I should post them here. Uh, okay, so um, let's start out with the fees, okay? So with Shopify, you have a monthly subscription. So if you're starting off with no money and you're barely making it, it might be, first of all, if you're starting off with no money and you're barely making it, it might be kind of challenging to start a store, but you can definitely do it because I've done it before, okay? Um, but you just have to discipline yourself and sacrifice, you know, and make sure you pay that monthly fee for your store because that's your money maker. So, you know, you just have to save, sacrifice, discipline, and you can definitely do it. I've done it before. So with Shopify, um, there's three different options. So um, I have the basic on everything, I believe. I might have the middle plan on one. But yeah, I have the basic. I always go basic. I don't remember what the prices for the other ones are on Shopify because I always do the basic, which is $30 a month. Um, it does fluctuate. It depends on when you sign up. So I don't want to go too much in detail in that, but it allows me to do, I mean, I have like thousands of products on one of my store, one of them I have like five. I mean, it allows me to do what I need to do. So that's the thing with Shopify is you do have a monthly subscription. Okay. So with Etsy, you don't have a monthly subscription. Now, you do have to pay 20 cent every time that you do you create a listing with Etsy and it renews I think every like six months I believe it automatically renews or you could set it to where it's automatically renewed or not um, 20 cent isn't a whole lot but it just depends on how many products you're selling you know now if that's not counting towards each vari variation like if you have 20 tadpoles and you have you know 20 different colors but each one is a tab hole it's still going to be 20 cent because you're just changing the color on it but um so yeah that's the thing with shopify and etsy as far as fees go hopefully you can't hear the background noise i tried to come into my studio and record today um i'll probably keep doing this but i hear a whole lot of background noise i have my door open also my studio door open so that the air could get in now the um, transaction fees through Shopify and Etsy, the transaction fees are going to be cheaper with Shopify. Now through Etsy, they're going to be more expensive. They fluctuate, which is why I don't want to, I don't want to um, state what they are because they do fluctuate, they change. And I'd hate to misinform you and make this video and they change, you know, in a little while. Actually, they don't change a whole lot with Shopify. I don't think I've ever seen it change, but with Etsy, the fees change. So the fees are going to be more expensive through Etsy. If you are shipping through Etsy or Shopify, either way it goes, 
um, you can ship directly right through the platform, directly through the e-commerce platform. So through Etsy, I see, I'm just going to give you my perspective of how I see things. So like through Etsy, I see Etsy as like, I don't want to say a flea market because it's not like it's, you know, I mean, there's some really good stuff at a flea market, but that's how I envision it. Like Etsy, there's a bunch of sellers. We're all on this platform trying to make money. A lot of people are selling what you're selling. So you got to, you got some competition, you know, they're on the site, but Etsy brings you traffic. You know what I mean? Like I do do, I participate in Etsy ads, but Etsy does bring traffic to your site. So it makes it easier to sell, I guess, to like, you have a lot of traffic coming through Etsy. People look for certain things on Etsy and depending on what you're selling, Etsy may be the way to go. Um, if you're selling anything that you, well, Etsy is supposed to be like all handmade stuff. So if you're selling um, floral arrangements or, um, you know, like these sets that I have back here, I gotta get used to this, you know, right here. Uh, but yeah, these sets that I have, these chess sets, if you're doing like epoxy stuff like that, I feel like Etsy is a really good place to do that at because it's handmade. And these are products that are really unique. So Etsy is known for like unique products that you're not gonna find anywhere else. So um, if you're doing anything handmade, Etsy is the way to go because that's what people are coming there to look for or they're looking for people that can customize what it is that they want like that chessboard set you know what i mean so listing products through etsy like i said you have to pay for that now you don't have to pay to list your products through shopify um shopify you can have how many ever many products you want you're not paying per product to list per product um I'm, and so, but that's dope. But on the flip side, like Etsy makes you, they they will not allow you to click list without certain criteria being met. Like they want to know who made it. Was there a collaborator that made this with you? Um, what products did you use to make this? They're going to remind you to do your tags. They're going to, um, which is good for like the SEO, the search engine op optimization. But Sometimes I'm trying to list something really quickly because I don't have a lot of time and Etsy is like, wait, 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 hold up. Wait, what is this? Wait, 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 what is that? Oh, well, you didn't update your shipping. Every single product that you list on there, you have to set the shipping with Etsy. You have to set, um, they're going to ask you, what is the primary color? What is the secondary color? They're going to do that now. Now. From a business standpoint, that's not a bad thing that they want you to do that because they're going to make sure, like, that's going to get your product sold. The more description, the more detail, you know, sometimes I'll go to buy something and I'm like, well, why doesn't it tell me what it's made out of? Or sometimes I'm like, well, is this real rose quartz or is this just, you know, pink? And it looks, it's made to look like rose quartz. And that could be the defining factor between if I spend my money on that product or not. So Etsy making you, forcing you to, you know what I mean, add a description to your product uh, may not be a horrible thing. Um, Shopify does not force you to do that. You are very free to do whatever you want with your products in Shopify. If you post a product in Shopify and you just want to put in the description, purple cat, you could do that. You could do whatever you want. You could put a period there and it's going to list that product. But just keep in mind that the more detailed information you have about a product, the better it is, it's easier it is, it's going to sell for you. Okay, so let's see. What else do I have here? As far as customization, customization on Etsy, they give you a banner and you have to create that banner, which you could create that banner like in Canva or anything like that. So that mic i feel like i just feel like this microphone went smoke today um but yeah that's going to be the only thing that's going to kind of set your store apart and i have really nice banners on my etsy so i'm not really complaining but you know i can't you know it's their platform so i can't customize the store like i want this is going to age me, but it reminds me of kind of like MySpace compared to Facebook. Like MySpace, we used to be able to put anything everywhere, there's glittery stickers, there's this, there's that. You could do whatever you want. And then you get on Facebook and it's like, 
add a banner okay um so with shopify there's so many details you can do you could go in and edit the theme you could edit the colors you could change every color and it's updating in real time right in front of you however you want it you know you want it you could change the font you can change um the display how many items are displayed on your home page you could go in and detail your shopping cart experience they actually just sent me a message yesterday saying i could update it to where my shopping experience where you're leaving the store you're checking out the checkout experience so you're checking out and you could check out with one page now instead of three but either way it goes you could customize every detail of your store through shopify so for me i really enjoy um decorating my stores and putting the banners and doing everything the template i enjoy doing all that for my store because i feel like that's how i'm going to catch my buyer I have some stores that are super blank and plain and they, like I said, five items. Um, and then some stores that I have are like, you show up and it's like, bow, bing, boom. And it's just, it's just cracking. You know what I mean? It's everywhere. So I like having that option of playing with that and switching it up. If you want to drop ship, you, Shopify is going to be the drop shipping king. Like, Shopify is going to be where if you don't have any products to sell, which I have a whole video on that. I'm showing you how to do that. But if you don't have any products to sell and you want to start making money, you want to start advertising a store, you want to create a store, you could create a store on whatever it is you want to do. If you wake up today and say, I want to create Rane's workout brand. I've always wanted to do this and this is what I'm going to do, but I don't have the capital to you know buy the products and create a brick and mortars and do all this in person so you can get on shopify and you can just type that in to uh, there's a whole video i have on it but you could just type that in and you can create your whole store right now with no money and start making sales and somebody else is going to ship that for you so shopify is going to be is going to be the king when it comes to um, drop shipping so like I said it depends on what you're selling um, and let's see what else I could say about Etsy and Shopify with Etsy you don't have as much control over your store than you do with Shopify with Shopify you have control I'm saying like as far as um, like with Etsy they can shut down your store at any moment um, but if you're a customer, they cover you in a lot of areas. Like there's a tracking number that's automatically generated through both stores. Um, and you could choose through Shopify if you want to send them their tracking number. Okay. So my overall favorite store would probably be, oh, it's so hard to say, like I've made the most money on Etsy. Um, although I love Shopify and the control that I have and, you know, with Shopify, you just have to advertise. So it's so hard for me to choose. I probably cannot. It just depends on what it is that I'm selling. And because I'm all over the place and I do a bunch of different stuff, I really love both stores. And so I can't make a decision, unfortunately. Um, but I did really want to make a video today. Hopefully I could get that in. I want to show you guys how to create NFTs and create, um, and I want to show you how to upload, how to self-publish your book. So I'm praying I can do that today. So hopefully I could get that in today. Oh, also Shopify lets you, um, if you have a Facebook shop, Shopify connects to it so you can connect you know a lot of stuff connects to shopify actually a lot of stuff connects to etsy too but i don't think you could connect etsy to your facebook shop like you can shopify i'm pretty sure you cannot um but yeah so shopify allows you to take your facebook page your facebook shop and connect and they automatically import your products so now they're on facebook you have a whole facebook shop but when you do that that's when they're going to force you to fix the description. Facebook, on the other hand, will make you fix the description and make you, and they're not going to just go for anything like certain products. They're going to say you can't sell on Facebook because of this doesn't meet this criteria. So there's pros and cons on both of them. It just depends on 
what you're selling and you know what you want to deal with so you know i hope this video was helpful i hope it's helped you determine which route you want to go always reach out to me i get you know messages here and there and i'm very happy to help you know what i mean i wish you all the luck and success and i would love to hear or send me your store or whatever the case may be so thanks so much for watching hit that subscribe button share my videos with anyone that you think is interested stay up to date with what it is that i'm you know dropping because i will continue to drop videos and i appreciate all of the views i did pretty good last month that was the first month that i actually um, took this thing serious and really went hard and so um, I did pretty good and so I got like 73 subscribers which I think is pretty dope just to start out I'm all for like trust the process so I understand it is a process but I appreciate anyone that does watch my videos all right thanks so much for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button Fly light in the beautiful sea. I